And they told me that we have five years to live, and they sent me out the door. There are similar viruses that attack non-humans, especially chimpanzees. Once they said everyone can get it, they went all over and warned us that it would spread out and everyone would get it. Science has as much politics as the political world, if not more. And I think the AIDS world explains that very well. In 1984, Robert Gallo mixed together samples from 10 patients. That's on the record. He did it. AZT itself was a good beginning and really helped. And I think it was the clamor to get something to control this. People were dying so quickly. I've had doctors tell me that had I taken AZT when it was originally prescribed to me, that I'd be dead today. And I know that's a fact. It's circular because they kill the infections, but they make you more prone to contracting uh, new infections. My feeling is if everybody was told that there are top scientists who question whether HIV causes AIDS, that they are told that these drugs they're taking could cause fatal side effects, that very few people would take the drugs. He said, well, he's going to have to stick himself 300 times to transmit the virus. Where are you people in the press? 300 times to transmit a virus? You cannot have an epidemic under those circumstances. What they don't tell you is that that treatment ended up killing tens of thousands of people, mostly people who weren't even ill, but who had simply tested positive for HIV. If you take away the fear and just look at the science, it's a whole different story.